The biggest reveal of the decade by the largest defense contractor in the world. Lockheed Martin has just given the world an insight into what the sixth generation American NGAN fighter could look like. And it's everything Russia and China should be scared of. The reveal comes complete with key characteristics of the fighter, and combined with previously known information about the fighter, such as the possible wielding of the revolutionary shield laser weapon, we may now know a great deal about the main capabilities of the NGAD fighter, and we'll get to every one of them in this video. But first, we must take a look at the new official Lockheed Martin rendering that has brought the 6th generation NGAD fighter into the spotlight once again. Lockheed Martin released a new artwork, primarily promoting their LMXT tanker concept. However, also featuring in this artwork is a more interesting character, a notional manned sixth generation fighter component of the Next Generation Air Dominance Program, or NGAD for short. NGAD is the US effort towards fielding a next generation family of systems, including new weapons, sensors, engines, and networking and battle management capabilities, among other things that all revolve around a new manned sixth generation fighter also developed in the program. This fighter, represented in the artwork refueling from the LMXT tanker concept, features a stealthy tailless design that incorporates a diamond shaped wing with straight leading and trailing edges. The wing is closely blended with the elongated fuselage, which features a single prominent chine line and tapers sharply toward the nose. These features bear a striking resemblance to a figure spotted by the war zone in some satellite imagery of the popular yet secret flight test center, Area 51. Another interesting piece of information is that the latest rendering from Lockheed Martin is similar in many ways to a concept from another major defense contractor, Northrop Grumman. These consistencies prove that the NGAD fighter is indeed developed with advanced futuristic designs and just as futuristic capabilities. The capabilities of the NGAD fighter define to a great extent the lethality of the entire NGAD family of systems. So to know the capabilities of NGAD, we must take a look at the capabilities of its fighter, particularly its stealth, open architecture, advanced sensors, and weapons. Number 3. Stealth Stealth is an advancement that has been here only one generation of fighters ago, but it's one that's here to stay. According to the Air Force's biennial acquisition report covering the fiscal years 2019 and 2020, the Angad fighter maximizes its stealth features by taking an overall triangular shape, internally holding its payload, and having no distinct tail section, also known as vertical stabilizers. It is the first fighter in history to be unveiled with such a revolutionary design, Vertical stabilizers had always been required to keep an aircraft airborne until the concept of active flow control came to life in the B-2 spirit. Active flow control uses computer brains on board to constantly adjust the flow around the aircraft to keep it airborne, similar to how birds fly. The result of this on an aircraft is top-level stealth and, well, a not-so-wallet-friendly cost. This to an extent justifies why the B-2 costs $2 billion and why Congress has budgeted over $10 billion for the NGAD in less than a decade. Number 2. Open Architecture Laser weapons that can take out targets on the ground, in the air, on the seas, and even in space. A mix of high-performance guns, missiles, AETP engines capable of subsonic, transonic, and supersonic flight that cost over $6 billion to develop. Loyal wingmen top-of-the-line electronic warfare countermeasures, avionics, and communications are only some of what to expect on the NGAD fighter. But despite these advancements, decades of history have taught the US that an aircraft will always have room to be better, no matter how advanced it already is, especially with near-peer adversaries becoming more near-peer by the day. As a result, the NGAD fighter will come with open architecture that enables the fighter to take on new upgrades easily and quickly. This way, the fighter will constantly adapt to newer challenges on the battlefield that are introduced by the advancements of opposing militaries. To put it simply, the 6th generation NGAD fighter can be upgraded to become the 7th generation NGAD fighter years after it's fielded. Number 1. Advanced Sensors and Weapons The NGAD fighter's immediate surroundings will be miles wide, as it would be capable of spotting targets, friendlies, and points of interest from tens of miles away. This capability enables the fighter to double as a surveillance, reconnaissance, and target acquisition aircraft. The sensors that make this possible come with maximum connectivity, and thus the ability to share its data with every other member of the fleet, whether sixth generation or not, keeping every member of the US fleet abreast of relevant information in real time. 
the U.S. would do away with radars mounted on aircraft to electronically configured smart skins integrated into the aircraft's fuselage. This results in increased sensor sensitivity as well as network adaptability. It also aids with communication across the fleet and ultimately enables remote control. As a result, the NGAD fighter is designed to be optionally manned, depending on the requirements of the mission. Moving on from systems to weapons, the NGAD fighter is armed to the teeth with the widest array of the most advanced American guns, bombs, missiles, and laser-directed energy weapons. Of these, laser weapons make the most headlines, and for understandable reasons. For one, they have unlimited magazines as they can continue to fire for as long as they're connected to power sources. Next, they destroy targets at the speed of light, literally at 300,000 kilometers per second, the fastest anything known to man. Thirdly, laser weapons are entirely autonomous, executing most of their work without human intervention, from spotting and tracking targets to taking them out. To exploit these capabilities, the Air Force is already in the later stages of developing a laser weapon known as the Self-Protect High Energy Laser Demonstrator, or SHIELD for short. SHIELD is developed by a team of Northrop Grumman, Boeing, and Lockheed Martin. Northrop Grumman would deliver the beam control system. Boeing would deliver the pod subsystem that mounts the other components to the aircraft's underside. And Lockheed Martin would deliver the laser itself. The laser is known across the military as LANCE, meaning Laser Advancements for Next Generation Compact Environments. Lockheed Martin received a whopping $26.3 million from the Air Force to design, develop, and produce LANCE. Their specialization in laser weapon development for the last 40 years, particularly with essential advancements such as precision pointing and control, line of sight stabilization, and adaptive optics, has definitely come in handy to become the go-to laser company. The company says Lance, in many ways, leverages technology building blocks from internal research and development projects, including the Army's Robust Electric Laser Initiative, or RELI program. This implies that Lance would either be a 60-kilowatt class laser weapon or a scaled-up version of it. Lance has already been delivered to the Air Force, a testament to just how speedy the entire NGAD program is getting along. And speedy is the way to go, because as we'll find out now, in the sixth generation space, time matters. The U.S. is far from being the only country with a sixth generation program. China, Russia, the UK, France, Italy, and a host of others all have sixth-generation programs. All of these programs having similar capabilities, the country to come out on top would be the one to have their representative ready first. This is why the US is constantly on the gas pedal for the NGAD program, but so is a consortium of countries known as Team Tempest and China. China has begun pre-research on sixth-generation aircraft, and there are predictions that the program would come to fruition by 2035. Similarly to other countries building sixth-generation aircraft, the next-generation fighter will build on fifth-generation technology that has been perfected over the years. For China, this fifth-generation testbed is the J-20. Packed with a world of capabilities, the J-20 is China's most capable fighter jet to date. Features such as the holistic approach to reducing its radar cross-section, modified radar radome, and electroconductive canopy, among others, that make the J-20 lethal, will be upgraded multiple times over and then integrated into the sixth-generation fighter. Team Tempest is the name given to the group of countries and companies developing the sixth-generation Tempest program. Countries include the UK, Italy, and Sweden, while the companies are BAE Systems, Rolls-Royce, Leonardo S.P.A., MBDA, and Saab. The Tempest program is also headlined by a manned or optionally manned sixth-generation stealth fighter, whose prime function is to conduct air-to-air -air and air-to-surface combat operations in a contested environment. Whilst having the ability to concurrently conduct surveillance, reconnaissance, electronic warfare, and the ability to share data and messages with other aircraft and coordinate actions. The UK alone is expected to have poured $2.5 billion into the program by 2025, $2.1 billion from Italy by 2035, and an additional inflow from other group members in time. Other notable sixth-generation program mentions include the FGAS from France, Germany, and Spain. Then there's the MiG-41 from Russia, which could have been the closest competition to the US NGAD. But it isn't, because Russia is spending tons of resources and time fighting a war in Ukraine. So as it stands, the NGAD remains far in the lead. 
And with companies like Lockheed Martin and Northrop Grumman giving closely similar hints into details of the program, the program may be closer to service than anyone expects. There is, however, still one way to speed it up even more, and that's by you subscribing to this channel and giving this video a like. So do that now. Thanks for watching.